nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 97 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. And we are nearing our ability to release here. So in this video, we'll be trying to update the bundle uh, of our dependencies for our gem, make them the latest and greatest if we are able to do so, and also deal with the the issue related to the debug gem that we kind of tabled when we upgraded or we added Ruby 3.2 to our list of things that we were doing in our GitHub actions. So we're going to try to see what we can do here and um, update our dependencies. So if we look at our gem file, the gem file only has rake and rspec in it, but we can take a look at those and see if we, we already upgraded rspec, uh, but let's take a look at Ruby gems. Essentially what we're going to do as a, as a process here is we're going to take a look at rubygems.org and look at what we've got. 13.0.6 will that meets we don't need to change our um, gem specification there and then our spec 3.12 and then we go into our gem spec itself. We also have our dependencies here. We'll start with secure random, which looks like we've got 0 0.1.1 .1 there now. You can also look at take a look at the, the gem file dot lock that has the the list of these dependencies. So if we take a look at secure random, currently running 0.1.1. Take a look at our 0.2.2. So that's a, um, a minor version upgrade. We'll give this a shot and see whether it causes anything to break. Gem spec 0 0.2. And then let's see here. Overalls reborn. Zero point twenty seven. Rubicop. I'm sure it's been updated. 1.46. So you get the idea. I'll pause and um, can complete these other things and try. I'm, I'm going to try to get them all to the latest published version on Ruby Gems for each of these. If anything comes up that's noteworthy, I'll unpause and redo it. But you get the idea. You take this and you um, um, go through update your development dependencies in the gem spec um, dependencies development dependencies etc uh, so I'll continue doing that come back and um, I don't anticipate that anything weird or discussion worthy is going to come up from this but you never know see you in a couple seconds all right I am back so it was pretty vanilla just update these latest things, assuming I've done the syntax correctly and everything. Um, 
Robocop Rake and Simple Cove Elk Hove have not been updated since the last time we updated our bundle, so those things just stay the same. So now in our terminal, we're going to check out call that update bundle. And now we're going to attempt to run bundle update. And let's see what happened with the debug. So let's see. Our gem spec. Oh, I didn't. I didn't save my gem spec. So let's see what happened here. Is that in the Rails project that the debug thing happened? I don't see debug at all. That would be C. What I encountered here. This is me. <laughs> Nerdice.com. So I don't even have debug as a dependency. So that we can go back here and remove the bug label. Nothing like the confusion between nerd dice and nerd dice.com to uh, cause some trouble. All right, so now back in our world here, um, now that I've actually updated the Gem spec. We'll run bundle update again. And simple cove, Cabral is reborn. All right, let's see what happens if we try to run our spec. Everything is passing. That's a good sign. And then we take a look at Rubocop. There'll be new cops enabled, so there's possible that uh, I've got new violations in place now. 97, all of them auto-correctable. So, to be, okay, so these are changes in how our spec is operating here. And it looks like just the 
the difference of prefer B over equal uh, for those Boolean values. I am good with those changes. So we'll run RuboCop autocorrect. No, I did lowercase a when I should have done uppercase a. Rerun Rubicop. Back to no offenses. Our spec is happy, which is good. So it seems like a fairly innocuous update here. Um, essentially, all of our specs there are going to have that difference in B versus equals. We've got our changes to our gem spec and gem file dot lock. Nothing appearing to be out of the ordinary there. And then gem spec, we change it, change manually. And then all these changes of equal versus B. I think that's the only real thing that got modified. Yep, yeah, still B. I like the semantics of that better, so we'll keep it. We will add everything. We'll write a commit message. Uh, this is one of those situations. So when when you uh, update your bundle, really watch the uh, the build that happens because there there could be things that like what happened with the debug gem in the nerddice.com series, where the uh, something could be introduced that uh, causes the build to break. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it a couple of minutes from now. But for now, I will pause and write my commit message. All right, I've got my commit message here. Let's make sure that everything else is closed. Let's close that. And see what happens when we build it. So push that to the remote. I'll, I'll just note here, let me, I've got a comment half written uh, that the, uh, about why I removed the bug label. Did that just disappear? No, okay. It, it's up there. Make sure the link works. It does. Be sure to check out nerddice.com if you're interested in developing with Ruby on Rails web, app, web applications. Um, the Nerd Dice gem will wind up being a dependency in that eventually. But anyway, we'll see how our build is going here. And we have succeeded. That is exciting. What just happened to my backlog? No, oh, because I've got a, a 
filter on this somehow. How do I clear that filter? Maybe I just go back and there we go. All right. Anyway, let's build uh, open a pull request here. Uh, another thing to note here is when I, uh, except for when I do this against 0 0.4, the other versions of this, I'm not going to be able to cherry pick this commit exactly. So I'm going to have to check out the the version of uh, the gem file and the gem file dot lock from the um, from the, the master branch when I do this, um, and then I'll have to essentially run the RuboCop thing to autocorrect only those things that are applicable for those version 0 0.3 and 0 0.2, um, maybe even 0 0.1 of the gem. So we've got a pull request going into master. We'll create that, sign myself. I did assign, yeah, I was assigned to this. Anyway, so uh, we'll let this this build run and finish. Um, in the meantime, let me get branch. I'm going to assume that this is going to work. So um, we'll kind of do the command line, a portion of the command line part of this while we're waiting for our build. Hit merge. Bundle, get branch, delete the branch, uh, get rid of the bump ruby minimum. So let's see how our build succeeded. Get push to master. That will merge the pull request. Delete the remote branch. Let's see if we've got any other remote branches we need to delete. I think we do. So bump ruby minimum. That can go away. That can be deleted. Delete. Back to our, so our build has succeeded. Our issue can now be closed. Close with comment. Update backlog and see you in the next video. Code along on an end to end journey through the creation, design, and development of a Ruby on Rails application for managing tabletop role playing games. We start from Rails new and will guide you along the journey of the entire life cycle of the application. You'll get to see real life, real world problems and challenges as we try to deliver value for our users. Visit statelesscode.com to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.